This is going to be an overview of the Manage Site button. So when you're looking at your site, we have our typical features. We also have more. We have all of these options. So under More, Revision History lets you go back and see any old version of a site. So one time I made a mistake and I saved it. Well, you can just revert with Revision History. I haven't found information that was on my site a year ago using the revision history and was able to copy and paste it out. Page settings. Click on that. Show title, show subpage, allow attachments. If you want to put actual files that your students can download, maybe you don't do Google Docs, maybe you don't do Dropbox. The bad thing is once it's on there and you change it, that file doesn't record those changes. But if you link to a Google document, or link to a Dropbox file, if you change that file inside your Dropbox, the link will show those changes. But if you're not there yet, this is a great way to add um, attachments to your site. And you will see this Add File button. And you can just upload any file, pictures, videos, um, documents for your students. So that was under Page Settings. I'm going to save the template part for another time. We went over site layout and I want to go to manage site. This is going to be a walkthrough of all of your stuff. Now if I want to change the name of my site, it doesn't change the URL up here. You can see this URL. But I can change the name that appears at the top to awesome site. and I can see the storage. These are some things that are on the advanced topic, but here's how you delete the site. I always advise people make a practice site, but if you're ever finished with your practice site, here's how you delete it. We can see all of our pages that we've created here. Site layout. We've gone over, so they took it away. Themes. If you would like to change the theme of your web page, I want to change it to the green one. Save. That will be now be done. Be careful because some themes have different formatting and your stuff might get moved around weird. Colors and fonts. Here's where lots of your design is. You may change the theme from here. You may change the overall background color or image. Now remember, all of these features are to edit the entire page. Page font. Now the header is just the top inch and a half where your title is. You can change the background image just on the top inch and a half. Change the title color, font size. The content area. So the header, change, editing the header would edit this space. And it does a nice preview for you. Let's try one. If you do want to change one. So let's try to change our header size. Title color. Custom. Red. And it will show you eventually. Content area. Content gadgets. Sidebar, we took out the sidebar. Navigation, we'll show you that. This is something you just kind of have to play with. You can view, you can preview before you save. It should show you some things. So you don't have, and you can always go back and undo stuff very easily. But this, I wanted to show you where this is. You kind of need to play with this yourself. When it comes to students, I never show them this. I don't tell them, I don't teach them to change their font size and colors because they'll spend forever trying to pick out the right font and the right color. I'll let them build their sites. At some point, I will show them where this button is. And on their own time, if they want to cruise around, like I'm suggesting you do, and play with the fonts and the background colors, they can. But it can be very distracting. So I wouldn't play with this until you feel comfortable with all the other features on sites. But this way, you know where to find it. It's under Manage Site. 
uh, fonts and colors.